Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be doing a six turn Indoraptor strat. So, now I have never tested this, nor have I even actually seen this strat before. So, when I saw it, I immediately went, you know what, video time, go. And, honestly, I'm hoping we do it. I do definitely think this could work. Now, the strat says... Um, fear some pet group shattering rampage. So, I mean, it was already wrong from the start because it apparently only had one turn cooldown on the group shattering rampage when they made it, which is impossible, but oh well. But as you can see, this is 2.9. We have group shattering impact, so I do, po I think it could be possible. Now, it's a very weird strat, I'll give it that, but I, I kind of like how it is. And we're going to do it exactly what it says in the video, so... Uh, just watch the video if you really want the strat. But, honestly, I, I, I just genuinely do think we might be able to actually do it if we have a high enough level 4. Which, I mean, it says in the strat to get a floor with level 25 and 10 attack boosts. And we had to attempt this earlier. The floor was... One damage boost off. That was all it took for us to completely lose the raid. Because the Thor has to guarantee a kill on the Carno minimum without a crit. That is just what it is. You either A, have to get a crit all three times. Or B, you have to go ahead and just have enough damage to one shot that Carno. Because the Warho isn't really a problem. It's gonna be the Carno because the Carno can destroy your shields and immediately just remove so much HP from your Thor. So there is that. You need to kill the Carno and you need to kill the Carno in one shot. Very simple. And the reason I say that is because in this again, it's a it's a six turn strat, meaning each round only lasts two turns. That ready to crush isn't gonna be ready by this turn. So you only have a thirty percent crit chance. That's what is the problem. And as you see, we're forced to use Group Ferocity. I think it's called Group Ferocity. It could be called Group Takedown, actually. Not Group Takedown. I was wrong. <laughs> Typical cheese. So, Group Taunting Shields. Now, obviously, I do understand the need for this. Is You know, we have to... All right, Connor went grouped Haunting Shields, which is actually really good. It means that we're going to... I mean, we're already taking zero damage from the Carno anyways. This is kind of more of a just a guarantee, basically. Also, I am so glad that the... I'm pretty sure that the... Ooh, we got a crit. Nice. I wasn't sure if he was actually going to be able to kill that minion. I know we, that the that the Thor can kill the Carno. I don't know if he can kill the uh, Warho. But, as you see... We did get lucky here, so that's possible. I think next turn that Eerie actually goes for... I think the, the Eerie goes for um, Ready to Crush next turn. So even more damages. Zoom. Yep, Ready to Crush. <laughs> just to, just dual rampages after a ready run. Now, you also do need Thor to be faster than Dio, so... You want Dio for very you want Dio very tanky. Irritator can be a good amount of level as long as it can tank an Indoraptor strike, we're fine. Oh my god. It just almost removed all its hit points is right there. Resilient rampage, bonk. Just an extra 3k just in case you truly want someone dead. Isn't so Indoraptor is apparently just resistant. It's not immune. I I think it's like 75% resistant though. And did you have to get a crit there? No. Screw you. That was not funny. I didn't laugh. Alright, I think I need to... What do I need to do, actually? I think I need to go... Yeah, I think I need to heal. I'm not sure, though. Let me look at the strat. Yep, heal. Okay, this isn't the worst, because I'll just go group acceleration next. Not only that, but it's actually really good, because the Irritator decided to attack... Well, we had to attack. He had no other choice. 
So this is another thing you do want that Carno to, or sorry, another car, the Warho. You do want the Warho to go taunting Bellow on the la on the second to last turn, so due to the fact that Yuri is attacking. And that way, you know, you don't actually hit the Carno. I mean, even if not, you can still finish this in seven. I bet. This is going to be a slightly longer strat. And of course, Indoraptor going ahead and just speeding. <laughs> Sir, your speed is now illegal. Then again, we've been doing that for a while, so why can't the bosses? Honestly, though, I'm actually kind of having fun with this. This is one of the few strats where I actually feel like Indoraptor isn't ridiculously hard. Like, it's certainly being a challenge. It's not being annoying. And I kind of enjoy that, actually. Because usually Interruptor is annoying. It is a pain to take out. Not here, though. It's actually pretty, pretty fun, pretty easy. Of course, you have to have all the right materials. But still, I do like it. It's definitely really good. This is a very well-made strat. And it's definitely enjoyable. I would, if you can, I would recommend trying to do it because it's quick and it's fun. And of course, bonk. <laughs> and down goes Indoraptor. Honestly, I'm going to be completely honest. I hate this raid, usually. This was actually pretty fun. This was one of the few times I've actually enjoyed myself in an Indoraptor raid. So let's go ahead and open the prizes. All right. Decent. That's very good. And 30 DNA. I'll take it. Well, anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.